What is nano banana? If you haven't heard those two words together, you're probably not keeping up with AI because it has been everywhere. It is this incredible new text to image model, seemingly better than any other image model we've ever seen, does image editing like never before. Let me tell you what we know so far, and then I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples because people found it on LM Arena under the code name Nano Banana. All right, so first from Chris, ChatGPT21, Nano Banana is genuinely blowing my mind. First, we have this original image. This is the base image and we have a shopping cart. Looks like they're walking down maybe a target aisle. And then we have two bags of dog food in the cart, the prompt. Add a third bag of dog food in the cart, the same as the other two. And there it is. Look at that. All of the details, all of the writing, almost flawless. There's a little bit going on with the actual dog on the bag, but otherwise it looks phenomenal. And everything else stayed consistent, stayed the same. And this is why people are getting absolutely blown away by Nano Banana, because it is so good at taking an existing image and changing it based on your prompt. Let me show you another example. So here we have a picture of a young Michael Jackson. Then we have Billie Eilish. And now we have them together taking a selfie. And I just think this looks absolutely incredible. Michael Jackson looks real, Billie Eilish looks real. The phone with the blur looks really good. Just everything about this image looks incredible. If I showed this to somebody who wasn't familiar with AI, they'd probably think this was real. And it also has a deep understanding of 3D space within a 2D image. Check this out. So we have a photo of Tom Holland walking by what looks like a picture on a backdrop. And somebody asked Nano Banana to put a 3D mesh over him. Check this out. Boom, there we go. I mean, it is perfect and look how good it looks. There's actually kind of a glow coming off of him. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the 3D mesh looks so good. All of the pockets got meshed correctly. The little folds in the elbow crease right here was meshed correctly. The hands have really fine 3D meshing. And so Nano Banana really does seem to have a very good understanding of what it's looking at in the photo. And it can also do photo restoration and colorization really well. Check this out. Here's the original photo, very blurred. Lots of damage to the photo. You can see crease marks right here. You can see missing detail. And then there is the corrected version, fully colorized and everything. This really has huge potential for people. And here it is side by side. So you can really see it cleaned up so much of the damage, added color that all looks very accurate. And just overall, I think this is so cool. Here's another example, the original and fully colorized. I see a little bit of blurriness back here, but it already is assuming a lot of things about the photo and it just looks so good. Here's another example, a baby sitting on a couch. I mean, this looks like a very, very old photo and there's the cleaned up colorized version. And you can see all of the little damage to the old photo has been removed and cleaned up. And surprisingly, it looks like there's damage on the wall, which may have been confused fused with damage on the photo, but no, it actually left the damage on the wall. Here's another example. This looks like this photo was maybe overexposed or sun damaged, I don't know. And it's kind of like what happens with Polaroid photos after a long time, and it was completely cleaned up. Here's another one. This might be the most impressive. Here's a photo, tons of detail lost, lots of damage on the actual photo, and then completely cleaned up. I mean, this is so impressive. All right, so how are people using this model? And who was this model created by? Well, people started to find it on LM Arena. And if you go to their text to image section and you start using the battle mode, you might be able to find it yourself. And then we got a clue as to who made this model. Logan Kilpatrick posted nothing more than the banana emoji. And that's all, half a million views on this post and yeah, he pretty much told us, yes, Nano Banana is ours, ours being Google. So it seems like this is likely gonna be one of the Gemini text to image and image editing AI models. And just like this is a cutting edge model, you can try other cutting edge models like GPT-5 and basically all of the best models on the market with today's sponsor, 
Chatbase. Chatbase is a powerful no-code platform that allows your business to deliver fast, accurate, and personalized customer support to your customers through AI-powered agents trained on your business's data. This is designed to specifically scale and streamline customer support operations. And Chatbase allows you to build these incredible agents to do customer support and resolve customer issues 24-7. And that's without the need for human intervention on every single ticket. This is an amazing way to scale up your existing support team. By leveraging the latest frontier models, Chatbase agents understand your business context, respond in natural language, and get better over time to improve support quality and efficiency. Whether it's answering FAQs, providing troubleshooting guidance, or handling complex policy queries, Chatbase agents ensure your customers get immediate high quality support at every touch point. And Chatbase integrates seamlessly into your website and other digital channels, creating a unified experience for your customers. So whether you're a large enterprise or a startup, Chatbase empowers your support team to scale smarter. Check out Chatbase. They've been a fantastic partner. I'll drop their link down below. Let them know I sent you. Thanks again to Chatbase. And now back to the video. Here's Marco. More tests with Nano Banana prompt. Create a four panel montage showing sports moments. Use the style of the reference image. Here's the reference image on top and look at these other ones. Not only is the styling correct, it also chose four other sports. They all look hyper realistic. They have the blur, they have the streaking. Everything looks so good. This can help with marketing. This can help with obviously what we just saw, photo correction and so much more. And another example of colorization. So we have the original image right here and Nano banana, add color, really just incredible, incredible. You can also flip an image and it can assume or try to guess what's behind the objects in the image. So check this out. Here's the original image and Nano banana was asked to basically simulate what it would look like from behind. So here's this person's back of the head. Here's this person's back of the head and now they're walking in the opposite direction. And then create a Nike ad from this image. So we have the original image and then just do it, run your story. Nike logo, just do it. The font looks correct to me. The Nike check mark looks a little off, but I don't know. I actually am not sure. All right, here's an example. We have four separate images. We have this guy right here. We have this woman, a dog, and a car. The man and woman standing in front of the car with their pet dog. And let's see what the image is. There it is. Now, interestingly enough, I wouldn't have even noticed this. He's wearing a chef's coat. And I actually had to go back to the image and check, is he wearing a chef's coat? And it turns out, yes, he's wearing an apron, which maybe isn't actually shown in the image, but the chef's coat certainly is. That translated, and there it is. There's the chef's coat. There's the car. It's hard to tell what kind of car this is, but it put together something that looks pretty decent. Here's Akash Bangad. Gave it a picture of a rumored iPhone 17 in Tim Cook and it generated this output image. So here it is. This is the alleged iPhone 17. Here's Tim Cook and here's the image. I would actually say maybe this one doesn't look fantastic. It's still really good, but the phone just looks a little awkward, a little misshapen and maybe a little big. So this I would say is pretty good, not as great as the other ones I've shown you so far. All right, how about this one? Replace Batman with Superman. Let's take a look. And there it is. And I'd say this again is pretty good, not the best. This is definitely Superman and the recent Superman looks like him at least. And then we have the cat, which effectively did not change at all. The cat is identical between these two images. So Nano Banana really does a great job of isolating the elements it needs to change in the image. And that's the most impressive part. Here's another one. Put the baseball hat on the woman. Cindy Sweeney, let's see what it does. Boom, and yeah, it's all about character consistency with Nano Banana. And I think the hat just looks very realistic. It's very nice. Here's another one. Flip stack of books to be upright and put on the table between the two bookends. Okay, so we have three books. Let's see what happens. And there they are. Now, I do notice a little issue. Oscar B here, the name, last name. If you look right here, the text got a little messed up and you can see the text of the other books got a little messed up. It's a little unclear. All right, then we have a comparison against GPT image one. Here is on the left side, Nano Banana. Okay, same exact prompt on the next one. And there we go. This one is much more stylized. 
I think I think this one looks better, more realistic overall, but they both have their own look and feel to them. And then how about AI product placement? Check this out. This is from Tech Hala. So here's the original image. Looks like maybe a GTA 5 image here. Then on the right side, we have Redneck Brewery, the product, and it says, the woman is holding the beer. Okay. Now, Flux One Context could not do it, could not take that beer bottle and put it in her hand. Instead, she's just holding a cup of beer and she has one, two, three, four, five, and then I assume a thumb is back there, six fingers. Now, for Nano Banana, it is the exact bottle of beer right there. Even all the text looks correct and she's holding it. She has four fingers. You can even see the thumb. Just incredibly impressive work from this new model. All right, and then what happens if we take Satya Nadella and Sundar Pichai and put them on a beach together in a natural way? Phenomenal, it really does look really good. I don't know why they chose to give him jean shorts, but that was Nano Banana's decision. And then one last one, product placement, we have this chair and this lamp, put them together, here it is, GPT image one, and much more realistic Nano Banana. Look how incredible this is. The actual shadows created by the pattern on the lamp from the light inside gets reflected onto the ground. I am blown away by this. So here's how you try out Nano Banana in LM Arena. You could try it right now. Go to lmarena.ai, then in the prompt field, there's this little button right here that says generate images. When you click this, you're going to be able to insert your prompts to generate images, and it's gonna be battle mode. You need to select battle mode. Then you kind of have to just wait for LM Arena to choose Nano Banana randomly because it just chooses two image generation models at a time. Sometimes you get Nano Banana, sometimes you don't. Let me show you a few generations that I created. All right, so I have this photo of me. This was a thumbnail face photo from my old office. And I said, remove the background, put the man in space. And this is Nano Banana right here. Now, if you look at Gemini 2.0 Flash, there's something wrong with it. The face doesn't quite look right. Hopefully you guys agree, but yeah, Nano Banana was the obvious winner. It basically isolated only the background and put space behind me. Then I said, put a space helmet on the guy and there's that image right here. And there were two variants. This one is against Quen Image Edit, which of course is an open weights model. And this one is Nano Banana. And I think that looks really good. Then I took that same image, loaded it back up and said, make the helmet glass tinted slightly. And again, I got Quen image edit versus Nano Banana. And I actually thought the Quen version looked a little bit better, but here's what Nano Banana looked like. Then I said, now make a giant banana chasing the man. And there he is. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, this one doesn't look like me at all. This one really does not look good at all, but at least it is consistent with my face from the previous images. So there you go. So check it out on LM Arena if you can find it. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna reach out to Logan from Google to see if I can get early access. This image editing model, this text to image model looks absolutely insane. The best I have ever seen. I cannot wait to try it. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.